Hi everyone, it's B Divine. Welcome to Divine Miracles. And this is the tarot mini forecast for the earth signs Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. And as you can see, I'm in my new apartment, my new little healing room, and I'm so happy to be here now in um, Colorado, except for getting used to the elevation, which is like 6,000 feet or something. It's sort of a little bit uh, messing with me a little bit, but uh, we're going to see how we go with the videos. Now, I'm starting off with Capricorn, and I'm going to be doing <clears throat> the Prediction Tarot, um, as well as the Conscious Spirit deck. Uh, we're going to get three cards from the Tarot and then see where we're at spiritually with the prediction deck. Okay, so here we go, Capricorn. So I'm calling in the angels, guides, loved ones, ancestors, and uh, ascended masters to move forward and be with us so that you can hear the message on an internal level and that the messages will be accurate and right just for you. And this is for Capricorn. So we're going to do three. So I'm just going to pull out three to start with. One, two, three. Here we go. And then we'll go from there, okay? And don't forget that you can get a deal. You can get a reading and a healing and something like that. Uh, whatever it is that you would like to do as a combo, uh, just write to me and I can do you a, a special discount just for listening. Um, okay, so we're starting off for Capricorn. So the first card is the Page of Swords. Now with this deck, they're not very, um, there's not much background or anything in them, but for me, they do something. So usually pages are also, they're just bringers of messages too, sort of like the Knights, um, but these can also indicate situations. And I find that they indicate situations a little bit more. And in this case, it's like there's something that has changed within you changed around you something that has um, been long time coming a long time coming and I feel like with the um, page of swords it could be a new attitude that you have within yourself a new way of thinking about things and this is really working for you as a situation there could be a younger person possibly um, coming forward with some extra news for you as well uh, for some people who are interested in health and healing, this can also indicate that something has completely changed uh, in your life or is about to change in your life with regards to your health as well. And maybe you've been going through um, a period of, you know, examining who you are and where you want to be and what you really want to do. And so the Page of Swords is just saying, okay, you're cutting through any illusions that have been there in the past and allowing yourself to shine a little bit more. Along with this, we have the uh, Three of Wands. And this can also talk about uh, journeys and traveling and uh, creative forces being at play. So whatever it is that you've sort of cut away from your life, you're now leaving a space, I guess, for your creative juices to really start to flow, for things to really start to shift um, intuitively uh, on you know many different levels also within yourself. There's also house moves here with the three, even though most times it comes out with a four, I can see a journey to, to a place of importance for you or, or hearing news about this as well. You know, someone coming forward with a message of importance with regards to a journey for you or you're taking a journey with some other people. And uh, lastly, the, the page, look at this, another page, the page of wands or page of staves as it says here which can indicate, again, your creative potentials or someone coming forward, helping to release your creative energy. And the Page of Wands also talks about an opening within your spirituality too. It can also indicate children. These could be two children that are important to you or that have been on your mind or are about to become a larger part of your life. But all in all for Capricorn, you know, the things that you've been putting in place are really starting to pay off for you. The things that you've been thinking about doing, um, you know, you should now put into place this forward movement for you where maybe before you were kind of stuck in what you wanted to do and where you wanted to be. And this is showing that there's forward action now. Um, and it may start happening quite quickly too. So if there's something that you really want to get across to someone else, now is the time. Uh, the messages are going to be there. Um, the communication is going to be strong. Um, it's time to just keep on focusing on your goals and your dreams and not allowing yourself to go backwards in energy or 
move yourself back to a place that you used to be kind of thing. It's like all about new, forward, bold movements, okay, in all areas of your life. Maybe there's a chapter closing, something beginning, um, maybe there's new people moving forward or new situations that have a youthful kind of energy about them or you've just been feeling younger and younger within yourself too, okay? All of the pages here as, I'm, as, as I see them when they're laid out um, are a little bit of a past movement, like a past action that has created an abundant level where you are now. So something that you did in the past is now starting to pay off. So whatever it is that you've been thinking and doing and, and you know, um, manifesting in your life, it's really, really working for your higher benefit, okay? Um, and you need to stay in this elevated state. Stay in a state of happiness and joy, gra being grateful as well to, excuse me, to generate more energy and also allow this positive energy to keep on shining in your life. Okay, so this is awesome for um, Capricorn. You've really made some huge changes uh, in your life that are paying off for you. Okay, so let's have a look at your conscious spirit card. So this is where you are at spiritually in your life. Or just a message for you. That's the card. Here it is. It's gorgeous. Um, sacred space. I find peace security and contentment when surrounded by nature's beauty, okay? And you get all the messages uh, from the universe coming through when you're in nature or spending time in nature as well. And maybe this has been important as you've been making decisions in, you know, for your future and for yourself. It's been important for you to be in, in nature and uh, grounded in nature. And we've been seeing this in most of the people's cards too. For a long time now is nature is the key to clear away those nagging thoughts, doubts and worries and concerns, etc. as well. And seeing the, the waterfall of abundance here. So as you've been spending time in nature and as you've been doing things for yourself, you know, you're creating a momentum of abundance, maybe more than what you realize to start flowing through. And this can be an abundance of many things, not just finances, you know, abundance of people and situations and changes and, you know, happiness in your life. And, you know, you're creating this sacred space for yourself, which is building up the energy that you need to continually move forward. So the energy for Capricorn is forward movement. It's like, here we go. Nothing's going to stop me. I'm going forward. And that's exactly where you need to be. Don't forget to check your moon and your rising sign as well to see if this all starts to make a big story for you or starts to make sense as well. Um, so Capricorn, you're on a roll. So keep on going. It's awesome. Okay. And if you haven't noticed these changes coming in, they will. This is a near future uh, reading for you as well. Um, and again, if you want something more in depth, please, you know, contact me. All right, so let's go on to Taurus. And uh, welcome Taurus, thank you for being uh, with me on this journey. We are doing a, a three card little reading with the, with the tarot prediction tarot pack. And also we're using the conscious uh, spirit deck as well for Taurus to see like where you are at spiritually and what you can do. And I'm choosing uh, three cards as we go along. First, we're calling in all of the angels, archangels, ascended masters, ancestors, loved ones, spirit guides to move forward for all that are listening to move forward and to integrate the healing messages and the love and the light. Stay really, really close and support you as you're moving on your day or on your journey and to give you strong intuition as you're listening as well. Okay, Taurus, here we go. Okay, uh, I'm doing like three cards at a time. So we can see where we're at. Okay, so the first card, <laughs> we just had this in the last one, the page of staves or the page of wands. So this time when I'm tuning into this card, I, I always feel that the Page of Wands is the messenger bringing, you know, news of um, spiritual growth as well. But this one is, there's a contemplation time here. 
for Taurus, you're contemplating something, you're contemplating a new move, you're thinking about it, you're contemplating perhaps the past or where you've been and maybe how much time you've wasted in a cer certain situation in your life. And so when this card comes forward, it's like, okay, now it's time. So now it's time to move forward into this new energy, which is going to bring you the balance, you know, of the two of coins. Maybe also you've been feeling like, uh, you know, you need some extra financial assistance or, you know, you want to move to a new place and it's going to cost a little more money or there's something here is balancing your finances, but you need to balance everything. So your emotions, your finances, the way of thinking, your spirituality, everything and ground it in uh, to your life as well. So there's something here where maybe you're feeling like you're juggling a lot of things. You're feeling like you're juggling work and, you know, home life and different things. So the balance needs to come in. Okay. And you're asking your angels and guides to help give you clarity, to help give you balance as you move forward in these new directions, because you don't want to hold yourself back now either. Now we get the queen of coins coming up. See this? So this is like a new opportunity too, a job, uh, a new position, um, a promotion in some cases. And maybe for some people, it's just getting your taxes done, you know, and you need to see someone and uh, get it all sorted out. I know I definitely do. Um, <laughs> sort out all the taxes uh, for yourself or anything to do with money, loans, uh, bank loans or uh, getting a rental agreement or something happening, you know, you, you're going to find the right person to help assist you. Sometimes the Queen of Coins is also speaking of your own personality, of being very keen with business and being able to generate the income that you're looking for and bring that balance um, back into your life here as well. Or maybe someone's going to reach out to you who you haven't um, heard from in a while Maybe they're going to reach out and explain themselves or uh, help you in some way. Um, and for some people, this could be your mother as well that's trying to get in contact with you um, or someone who's um, like a mother figure also trying to um, connect with you in some way. So open up your intuition. You know, remember that you are very strong intuitively. You're very grounded usually, um, you know, and you're very capable. And sometimes you just doubt yourself um, and your own abilities in on an inner level on an outer level you might be very very confident to other people or seem like you're confident and you've got everything together but inside yourself you tend to worry and stress and feel concerned and I also feel for some people that you may have been overcoming something like an addiction or maybe an anger problem or something like that and you're overcoming this and you're going through a very healing phase in which case you need to be really patient with yourself as well as you move forward Okay, now along with this, your spiritual message, okay, for Taurus and oh, it's the solar, uh, sorry, the um, sacral chakra, okay, so the sensitivities are here. I feel comfortable in my own body and I'm sensitive to other people's feelings and maybe you've also been going through that kind of healing within yourself too where you're not dragging in, like you're not pulling in other people's energy as your own of thinking that it's your own. Like you're not um, feeling sorry so much for somebody in some kind of situation, perhaps like where you've always felt sorry for them. So you've stuck around kind of thing. It's like you're coming into your own um, being like within yourself and you're starting to get to know yourself again. And maybe for the first time in, you know, ever that you're starting to understand your own self your own personality and this is attributed to a lot of the healing that you've been doing for yourself as well like on an inner level within it's time now to be watching those sensitivities as well uh you know maybe there's something that's not agreeing with you anymore now that you've opened up a little more spiritually there may be something that you're eating or drinking or whatever it is that just not sitting right with you anymore okay so it's time to really listen to your body and also making sure that you're clearing all of your chakras. So, you know, you imagine them turning in a clockwise position um, and focusing more so on the area of your chakras rather than the colors, because when they're clear, they tend to go white like this on the outside anyway. When, when they're starting to clear, the 
the colors are basically there for um, you know your own memory so you can remember the layout kind of thing um, but you know by focusing on those colors as well and creating a vibration uh, creating an intention you change you heal you grow okay so focus here on the sacral so sometimes that can be gynecological problems or you've got lower stomach problems or you've got cramps here or uh, you know maybe you're carrying weight in your lower belly kind of thing and generally any weight in our belly has to do with protection on the inside of our body instead of placing protection on the outside of our body okay so we just all blow up from the inside so just ask for your aura to be enhanced with this protective energy instead of it coming from that place inside your stomach, you know, where nobody wants to have any kind of fat there or bloating or anything like that, you know, sensitivities. So feeling comfortable within yourself too. Feeling comfortable about who you are is a huge big turning point in your spiritual growth too. Okay, Taurus, so a lot happening here for you and you've done this yourself. You've put the work in now you're going to start to see the results so thank you um taurus for listening and lastly um virgo thank you virgo for joining me i am doing the um tarot mini forecast of course for you guys and uh, i'm using the um, prediction pack here for three card reading and also for your spiritual journey i'm using the conscious uh, spirit deck to give us a little message about where you are and what to look out for and uh, I'm going to start shuffling and pull three cards so we're asking for the angels guides loved ones ancestors to move forward move forward and surround us and that for those who are listening for Virgo that you will have an awakening um, of your abilities and that your intuition will be on target and that the healing is activated within you and that your angels, guides, loved ones, ascended masters, ancestors are all walking with you. Okay, it's for Virgo. I'm going to do three cards. Don't forget your um, sun, moon, uh, sorry, this is your sun sign. Um, but check your moon and rising sign as well. Okay, the three cards are coming out. Don't forget that if you're listening, you automatically get a discount on readings or a combination of healing and readings or phone calls, all that kind of thing. So let me know and say, hey, I'll watch your video. So, you know, cut me some slack and give me a discount. <laughs> okay, so Virgo. So we're heading into this energy. All right, firstly, the moon. Okay, so this moon, this last uh, eclipse, lunar eclipse here really did some stuff to you. So you've really been feeling fine tuned from that. Um, maybe the build up to that was a lot of allergies and sensitivities and dizziness and headaches and fatigue and sore muscles and all that kind of stuff. And now you've come on, on the other side of this and things are being revealed and things are starting to make sense and things are starting to happen. Okay. Sometimes this card can also come up when there's a, a feminine influence in your life or someone that may be causing a little bit of concern for you or trouble for you in some way. And it usually is a female behind this because we're talking about the moon. If this was the sun, it could be a male behind it, okay? Just how it's always been intuitively as well. So something coming up to the surface here, uh, maybe a unhealed part of who you are or, uh, you know, something that you need to work on on an emotional level or someone triggering this reaction in you to allow their healing to occur. So usually when it's a bad day or we're getting, someone's annoying us or driving us crazy, those are the times when we really start to learn more about ourselves. It's not when everything's going well, you know, you don't learn much from everything being easy. We always learn something from something being a little bit difficult. So you are in a very learning phase at the moment, Virgo. Okay, so here we go as well. Something else major taking place. So this upset or this illusion could have to do with a household situation. Um, you know, sometimes the tower comes up to like really rock your socks, like something unexpected out of the blue, someone treating you badly or, or something. And it's like, where did that come from? You know, and sometimes the tower comes up when there's just like bad weather or, you know, electrical problems or something like that going on as well. But it always indicates like a shakeup and something that's not on sure footing 
you know, something that's not, uh, so what's the word? It's like something that's been unsteady or whatever, something that you're not being certain about. Finally, you know, okay, so I was right. So that person or that situation is totally what I thought they were, you know what I mean, kind of situation. Um, but yeah, there also could be something that you didn't know and with the with the moon it comes to the surface and it's like oh really okay so you felt that way all this time yet you were smiling you know in my face kind of thing it could be something like that um just something revealed to you and it could cause upset if you let it i sometimes see the tower and it's like okay so something's going to come out big deal you know whatever so try not to see it as a huge big obstacle in your way just say okay i've reached some kind of pinnacle in my life Whatever I thought was happening is real and, you know, whatever that means for you. And here it is. It's in my face and now it's over and I can deal with it kind of thing. Um, lastly, you know, the Eight of Swords comes up as well. So for Virgo, you know, there's been a, a sense of manipulation and entrapment here where you've been stuck in a situation that you can't really seem to find your way out of. Now it's like you're going to because you've got the, you've got the moon and the tower here. It's like you're going to find your way out of the situation and maybe other people aren't really going to like it either. You know, whatever. You have to do what's right for you or else you're always going to feel suffocated. You know, you're always going to feel like um, you're holding yourself back for, because of everybody else and you don't want to feel that way. So in regards to your reading, it's like, you know, you're, you're, you're caught in a situation that only you can get yourself out of but maybe it's going to be made easier by the actions or the revelations of other people. You finally start to say, you know what, I'm done kind of thing. Or I'm moving on or my new life begins. Whatever it is, you know, maybe people that don't like it. Because sometimes when we're advancing, you know, in our spirituality and we start to move forward, people don't like it. It tends to trigger people's... Um, Feelings of like being less than good enough in themselves. You know, if they see you moving forward and, and doing, there can be jealousy that comes from this. And maybe that's something that you're going to find out as well. Whatever the case, I feel like it's not a bad thing. It's not a big thing. It's not something that you um, don't know. It's like, okay, here it finally is on the surface. So my thoughts and my feelings were accurate. And now I can move out of there. So it's a real forward advancing kind of a reading here you're moving forward um, even when maybe someone may not expect you to so someone might think oh well you know you say you're going to move yeah right you know whatever and then you go and do it and they're like oh my god you know wow that person was not as easy to manipulate as they once might have been you know that kind of energy okay so let's see where you are at uh, spiritually Okay. And you got the water elemental. So I allow my body, mind and spirit to flow intuitively through the changes. You see there's changes happening. And uh, the dolphins here, you know, speaking of your telepathy and your inner healing and the joy vibration. So even like here, this is one classic card of change, the tower. And it's a disruptive change sometimes but you're intuitively just going to flow through it. So even though it seems like, uh, like you might hear some news and go, oh my God, and maybe at first you're just really like flipping out a little bit, you'll end up pulling yourself back into, you know, into your own energy and just relaxing about it, you know, understanding that um, you're always in charge of your own reactions. You're always in charge of, uh, the situation as you want it to be you know so if other people are going to carry on just let them let people waste their energy stay in this flow of calm it feels calm and serene and you know blissful don't let anyone knock you off your boat kind of thing you know you stay in that energy and believe me if someone's trying to give you a hard time and you're staying happy and you're staying centered and flow it drives them crazy they can't work it out you know and maybe that's all the only revenge that you need is your own happiness kind of thing. Um, you know, if that's what you need. If you need revenge, be happy. And it drives people crazy. They can't take it, you know. So for Virgo, changes, illusions, things coming to the surface. 
um, things uh, happening in some cases unexpectedly because of whatever it is, but it's like, okay, I can now finally free myself because I'm not trapped in that situation or worried about that situation. It's here, I'm moving forward and I'm gonna go with the flow, you know, stay in my own energy and I'm not gonna give in to all the drama, okay? It feels to me that you're going to be in a more supportive role to someone else who may be going through a really hard time. But um, still, that there are th things that are being triggered within you that you need to deal with, okay? So, um, for Virgo, I hope that you enjoy your messages and your reading and uh, stay positive and in tune and it'll be okay. Everything will have, find a way forward for you. Um, and until the next time, thank you so much for listening and goodbye for now.